Actually, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is one of the very first things you do when uploading a, an image, when uploading a blog post or starting a blog post. You first upload your images into the media library and we're going to walk through those steps of how to upload an image into the media library. So I'm in Photoshop here. You may or may not have Photoshop, but it does allow you to size images and to rename them. And so whatever system you use, make sure you size them to be about 900, 800 pixels. Uh, maybe 400 pixels is a good size. Your entire website is only 1,200 pixels across. So you will never need to upload an image larger than 1,200 pixels. And if you upload images that are larger than that, you will, in fact, eventually slow the website down. So we don't want that to happen. So. Here I'm going to take this image that Holly Brown created and gave to me and I'm going to go File, Save for Web. You'll do something similar on your own uh, computer with your images. And this is already set at 941 by 931 pixels. That's good. I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to hit Save. And this is the um, title that Holly gave to the, to the, video, to the image. That's pretty good, but you know, Google doesn't know what HB is. So I'm going to write Holly Brown on there. And I'm going to say Verdigas Pagoda dash card dash by Holly Brown. So that is something Google can actually read. And it's going to know that that's some sort of card design by Holly Brown and it will know who actually designed it. So it's important to include that in your in your in your titles of your um, images. So let's go ahead and save this in here. And I don't need this anymore. I'm going to close that out. Don't need to save it. I'm going to close Photoshop, but hide it anyway. And we'll go right here to the website. So we're here in the website I've logged, put some things in there. We're going to go to the media library. We're going to go to add new. And I am going to select that file. And it will be in documents under clients, open that folder, go to art Neko. go to the gallery's website. I find it. Blogs. That first blog. And there it is. Vertigo Pagoda by Holly Brown. I'm going to click that and open it. And there it's it's got it uploaded. I can see that it uploaded it. I'm now going to actually edit this image a little bit just to see what I can do on it. And I want to make sure it goes into a media category. And in this case, Holly Brown is the one that took the picture. It's in a um, blog post by Holly Brown, and we're going to put it in the category of Holly Brown. Now, there are a number of, um, of uh, stamp sheets in here. I think pretty much all of them. But I'm going to use the uh, media categories until I hear differently of the author's name of the post. So I've got that clicked and so I'm going to go ahead and update that. So we now have that in there. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put an alternative text and this is something that if a screen reader is on and the person, uh, person can't see very well but they're using a screen reader, it will actually read what the image is. So I'm going to say um, tea time in the Orient card by card by Holly Brown, and um, that will actually read that. And then, of course, the rest of the description will will uh, tell that person what it is in there, what's in there. So. We got this up in the media library. It looks good. We got a alt text to it. We haven't put our caption in, and that's okay. Let's go back to the library. And we can see it right here. It is attached. 
Um, I mean, it does have its media category to it, so make sure you always put a media category. Now let's go to the posts, and we're going to add this into that post. Going to All Posts. This is one we already put in, but we know we can edit a post after we add something. And I'm just going to go through this again, and I'm going to add, delete the old image I was using. Remove it. And I'm going to add this new one. Before I do that, I'm going to delete this other older image. That image was actually smaller than this one that I'm putting in there. It was like a 400 pixel. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to add media. And I'm going to pick this new one. That was the old one. We're picking a new one. It's a little bit bigger. Um, 900 pixels as opposed to 400. I'm clicking on here. And I'm going to actually install this two times. The first time will be on that left of that of the uh, paragraph near the beginning. And it will be a smaller size. It's already in Holly Brown. And I'm going to go left. I will link it to the attachment page. And I'm going to go smaller than medium, but I don't want to go thumbnail. So I'll leave it at medium until I can actually have it into the post. Insert into post. And I'm going to click here. Once it's in the post, you can edit it further. And I you can actually pick a custom size. And that custom size, I think that's going to be 200 by 198. And there we have the attachment page. And I'm going to say, under the caption for this one, Tea Time in the Orient uh, Stamp Set, Stamps by Art Nickel. And update that. Then I'm going to go down here. And this is where I put the other one in before. And um, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go up to, see how I click right there? I'm going to go up to Add Media, which is right here. I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to go down here to the very bottom. Scroll down, 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 down. And this time I want it centered. And I'm going to want it to be quite a bit bigger. In fact, let's go full size. Again, we'll have a link to the attachment page. Insert to post. And this is a nice big image inserted in the post. But uh, let's see how it looks. We're going to go to preview. Tea time in the Orient. Okay, I am going to actually shorten it a little bit because I don't like how it dangles one line down. And uh, there, it's a nice big image. I might make it a little bit smaller. It's gotten big, so I'll go down here, actually, and then edit that. Uh, and I'll just say, um, I may need to fix that too, but I'm going to see if that fits. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Again, click on it, edit. And here I'm going to go to tea time card by Holly Brown. And then I'm going to not, I don't want this full size. I think I'm going to again do custom size. I think I'll do like um, 700 by 693. See how that fits in there. Again, this is to the attachment page. Update it. And let's preview this. I have to fix that. That doesn't look good. But you tell the Orient card by Holly Brown. And you see how nice and big that image is? It really fills the page there. So that's a good size. And um, 
Yeah, that works. So, that's what I wanted you to know. That's how you do it. So we'll, now I'll go back and just update this. And you've learned something new today. That's it, and you have a great day.